Hey guys, my name is Suna and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very, very exciting vlog because I'm going to go to the Colorful Museum with my brother and I'm so very excited. I didn't know about this museum until he mentioned it. So we're gonna go see and apparently it's like very, very cool. It has this like huge pink pool and these colorful rooms. So I'm thinking that it will be very aesthetically pleasing for taking photos and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm just very, very excited. So right now I'm just warming off my, what do you call this? A hair curler or whatever. Yeah, anyway, this thing, <laughs> my hair tool to uh, just like curl my hair a little bit because it's like looking kind of sad. I curled it, I think, the day before yesterday, but yesterday was so rainy that it's just like very, very sad looking. So I'm just going to very, very quickly do that. And this part is not really like that interesting i have a mirror like right here so i'm gonna be looking there to not burn myself i usually just do this like just take random pieces and wrap it around the wand so i'm just going to speed through this part i'm just gonna keep on taking these pieces and wrapping it and i'll be back with you in a little bit okay so we're back that took literally nothing for you guys for me it took about 10 minutes and i know the curls are very tight right now but i'm just gonna let my hair cool for a little bit and then you know like pull the curls a little bit down okay maybe i can actually like start doing that right now especially like on this side because i always start on this side of my hair you see a bit loose this one is a bit warm though like if i touch it right now it's gonna get too loose so i'm just gonna like lightly pull them down so it's 10 15 right now and the plans for the day are basically to just get ready like i'm just gonna have a very chill calm morning before i leave to meet my brother at the museum so i'm thinking about doing my nails because they are not looking too nice i mean like i guess just like this they look okay but there's like so much growth i think you can totally tell so yeah i'm gonna do my nails right now i'm pretty sure i have another pack of the ohora nails that i love doing and yeah i'm just gonna check up on that and if i do then i'll do them so yesterday i went to kyobo which is a big bookstore chain here in korea and i got two books because i was hanging out with a friend and she was recommending me books i recommended her books so yeah, we both ended up with book recommendations from each other. I usually read only in English, but I have been wanting to read a bit more in Korean, especially because books are so much cheaper in Korean since I live here. And like the books and editions are a lot more nicer in Korean. But the only reason I didn't really read in Korean besides English is because I'm just so used to reading in English. Even back in uh, middle school, because I started to get into reading when I was in sixth grade, I wanted to get better at English because if you guys didn't know, I lived in Costa Rica basically most of my life. So I started reading only books in English. I actually read a lot faster and I understand books a lot better in English than in Spanish or Korean. I'm not saying that I don't understand them, but it's just that the pacing is just so much faster because I'm so used to reading in English. And when I read in Korean, since I rarely ever do, I'm a lot slower. Like I can tell I read slower than when I'm reading in English. And so like things happen so much slower and that's like one of the reasons I don't really read in Korean but I really want to start getting to know my pace and you know like reading faster and stuff like that so I got two books in Korean that were both recommendations of my friend so the first book is called Almond by Son Won Pyong and this is a Korean author like a Korean book that got really really popular it became a bestseller I think like a few years ago and I know that it has been published in English in Spanish and a lot of other languages and I've been seeing this book a lot throughout the booktube community in general all I know about this book is that our main character has this condition in in which he cannot make any facial expressions like he cannot smile he cannot like laugh or get angry like he always has this poker face like just literally 
like in the cover of the book that's his face like all the time and that's all i know about the book but i'm really excited to dive into it especially since it's been you know like getting all the hype around the word so yeah i'm very excited for this one and the next book i got is actually uh also a very very popular book so in english it's called the school nurse files i'm not sure if the book is translated into english or any other languages but netflix adapted it into a tv series and you guys can see it on Netflix. And this is the special edition. So the cover is just crazy. And apparently this author called Chong Serang is very, very popular. I had no idea because as I told you, I don't really read books in Korean. And my friend told me that her books are all very like weird in a way <laughs> so i'm just like all into the weirdness so this is what the special edition looks like just look at the beautiful cover and also in this first page there's like a little like a note kind of thing by the author and a sign which i just love you know like i just love these kind of details and you guys are not ready to see the book naked like what <laughs> i have never seen a book interior design like this and it's just so beautiful but yeah i'm just really really excited to dive into this book and maybe just maybe i might watch the netflix series after reading the book but it's not guaranteed because you guys know i'm just very very bad at watching series but anyway, those are the two books I got and I think I got totally carried away just talking about books because I just adore talking about books. But this is what my nails look like on this hand and this is the other side. I really, really like them. They're so spring and yellow is not a color I would like usually go for. But like in this case, I think it's pretty nice. Oh, and I changed my shirt because it got kind of cold. I just made myself some coffee. This this is just almond milk with a shot of espresso and I'm going to start reading almond. So it has actually been a few days since I went to the Colorpool Museum and to be honest I just forgot to end this vlog and I was gonna start editing the vlog and then I realized that yeah I forgot to end it so uh yeah i'm just finishing this off on my laptop that i hope the quality is okay because i actually got a new laptop recently i saved up a full year 
to buy the new laptop but i did i got the new macbook air 13 inches in gold and poppy is just like touching my laptop so that's why it's like kind of shaky uh thank you guys so much for watching this vlog i really really enjoyed going to the museum it's actually in the insadong area in seoul which is pretty far from where i am it's like a 40 minute subway ride like just a subway ride and then a little bit of walk from the station i got off at the chongno samga uh, exit and then i walked like i don't know maybe like 10 minutes from there to the museum which was fine you know and yeah, I had a really good time with my brother and I feel like we haven't really gone out together like that in a while. So yeah, like it was really fun hanging out with him. And I'm going to be uploading a lot of beautiful pictures that I took at the museum because you know how everything's so colorful and pretty. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and I'll talk to you guys really soon on my next one. Bye!